The Dark Aftermath of TikTok fan. Who means mm, which one should I watch? Oh, I forgot. Gotta like the vid. Support, bro. It's called Karma. All right. A huge trend hit the internet, and the <clears throat> NPC TikTokers were born. <laughs> this shit was so annoying, bro. Three sixty for a dollar. Thank you for the ice cream. And you know what's so crazy? It's like in your in like in like your for you page, bro. Why well, should say it like that for you? Like I'm from Glorilla or some shit. Your for you page, bro, is very specific to like a certain like a certain users on TikTok, bro. I always get this one girl. She will always be like, "Thanks for the glizzy," and like she will two hand her shit, and she be like, "Shut up." Pause. Pause. When I did that. Pause. 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 Fire. I'm a fat cow. But it was a quick way to get a check, bro. TikTok live and react to all the different donation emojis that people are sending in. They have these quote unquote pre programmed reactions to the different symbols, and that's how they bait people into donating. Actually, that is essentially the entire point of the show. Exactly. Now, why someone Literally. would sit around watching this stuff all day, I really do not know. And while I do generally detest this activity, I do have to hand it to the person who came up with the idea because they did indeed find the infinite money glitch. The one, only, Don't the one and only, bro. Don't get Pinky doll, bro. The one and only, bro. Pinky doll. The one and only, bro. No, she's the originator, bro. I feel like she is the pioneer of that NPC shit, bro. Because she was really out here. She was really out here just posing in front of the live cam, just. Thank you for the rose. Oh my God, Galaxy! She was really locked in, bro. I had to give, I gotta give her a props, bro, because she would be doing that shit for hours, man. Strong, breaking into. But you'll never see me doing that shit. Dollars a month and continuing to do their TikTok thing. I actually tuned into her live stream today, you know, to do some research, and this is the masterpiece that I witnessed. Yeah, I see. TikTok Live is a whole different place, bro. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why she got? Do she got app? Well, no, she got the opposite of them motherfuckers. Let me not. Nah, that ain't it, y'all. Listen, man. You are so cold volume. For her, I think it really helps that she has poured into other types of content successfully. You know, so she doesn't lose her mind. But for others, things are not. Oh yeah, fun fact. Fun fact. I don't think he's gonna talk about it. Fun fact. She actually did OnlyFans before she was doing the uh the TikTok live shit. I seen one of her videos. Thank God she quit it, bro. It was. Terrible, bro. Terrible, bro. Go into I wasn't even getting up to it, man. Like, nah. And as a TikTok NPC is really starting to catch up to some of these individuals from a psychological standpoint. Today, we'll specifically be narrowing in on a guy who dresses up as Spider-Man. My guy! Who has gotten quite my popular. guy! That's my guy, bro. I fuck with him, bro. Game or DVD set. And that's I'll exactly him, what bro. he does. What's going on, man? Hey, it's me, Mouse. Look at my guy. Look at him. Look at that fro, bro. It's uh, me, Miles. Uh, I don't think I should use that right now. That sounds pretty dangerous. Those <laughs> smell amazing. Thanks. <laughs> what, what the fuck are you talking about, man? And recently, this Yo. Miles Morales has been crashing out a whole lot. That nigga swearing like crazy. Damn. There's 11,000 people in here. There's 11,000 people in here. And you guys are not tapping the screen. Okay? Make sure that you're tapping the screen. There's 11,000 people in here. There's 11,000. Ah, uh, shit. The money glitch is drying. Oh! Why it took so late for me to, that shit to hit the button, bro? Let me try that again. That means the money's drying. Oh! There we go, there we go. Man, for 10 minutes solid is crazy. For first to have first off to have like 10k in your live, that's a blessing, bro. You better sweet, you better do something else, bro. Like what? What if I had 10k right now, bro? I'll that would be a blessing, son. I swear to god, bro. Thousand fucking people in here, okay? Tap the goddamn screen, okay? Tap the goddamn screen. Okay, you see this button right here? You see, you see, you see. You shouldn't be begging for the donos, bro. Not cause now you like a fiend, bro. Hold on, let me see what baddie texts me. I just want to kiss you on your forehead. Mwah. See, bro, I just got motion like that. But I'm not gonna show the forehead though, cause I got the Rihanna Chrome Dome, dog. That shit is not happening. Press the fucking button, okay? Press the fucking button. Look at him, bro. He's sweating, going Thanks, dumb. Bro. You guys are amazing. <laughs> To see him Jesus. go from being so frustrated and mad over people not donating and liking his stream to going right back into the NPC character is honestly just kind of sad to see. I mean, it's sad, but it's actually, I, I actually applaud it, bro, because 
That's an that's an insane code switch to have, man. For a year straight, and I think it would be like just to be just to be able to hold that character. For I'm not keep pausing, my bad. But just to be able to hold that character for that long, like just really think about that, man. You doing this live too in front of real people, bro. Just to hold that character, you can't crack at all. Obviously, I've seen clips of him crack several times. I've seen I've seen him crash out on like some 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 white guy because he didn't hold the door open for something or like he didn't say thank you. I don't know. He crashed. He's he's a big crasher. I ain't gonna lie, but I still fuck with him though. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Just stop, please. Like I'm not joking, bro. I'm not joking, bro. I, all right. So sadly, it appears that this guy really is in a bad place. You know, this whole situation is probably a dream for anyone who doesn't want to work a regular nine to five. And the prospect of making tens of thousands of dollars just to do something as simple as this probably sounds great on paper. But I just feel like at this point, this man absolutely dreads the time of the day where he's supposed to go live. I want to go home. I want to go to sleep. 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 No cap. I'll be thinking the same thing, though. Like, I'll be getting, I'll be kind of scared, like, to press the live button sometimes. Like, that's why, like, sometimes, I ain't going to lie, I'll be late. Just because I'll be sitting down, I'll be looking at the live button. Like, the start live button is like, ah. Uh, do I really want to start this shit? But then I have to come to my senses and realize that I am a low income streamer like ain't nobody gonna come to my shit right now nigga like go ahead and do whatever the fuck you want to do nigga like straight up bro. that's my that's my key advice to all y'all small streamers bro just do whatever y'all want bro don't od though don't don't go crazy bro if y'all gonna do all that shit go to kick all right but just do whatever y'all want bro and then me y'all have y'all y'all main audience then you can go like venture out try new shit like everyone else is doing or whatever it's just just have fun with it bro i'm gonna sleep i'm gonna sleep i'm gonna go to sleep i'm gonna go to sleep i'm gonna go to, sleep. I'm gonna go to bed spider-man's been protecting the city for a long time I think it's about time for me to go home. I try to be respectful. Damn, you got 17,000. <laughs> Damn. Listen, all oh, I know yeah, is this man muscle, always bro. looks sweaty and tired as fuck. And I do think for him, it really does not help that he's constantly filming in the streets of New York City. Like, I get that it's part of the bit. Like, at least for a lot of these people, they get to do this shit in the comfort of their own home. True, and I do true, feel like true. him having to do this out in public really just adds a whole nother layer of bullshit. But, it, but, it's, but this... it's impressive, though. You gotta, you can't, you can't, you can't just call bullshit on it too much, bro. We gotta hold him, like, put some shine on him just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you making this shit a little too dark, brother. You making this shit a little too dark, man. Like, let's have some shine for the boy, man. The boy been doing this shit in front of... All types of audiences, bro. Like, come on, bro. The that shit hard. A pretty hard time. He was supposed to teach Sir, me everything, you know. Okay, okay. I, mean I don't agree with this situation. I seen it too. I don't agree with it, but. You trespass? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You want to take my name? Yes, please. Cool. Just yeah, I'm ID. Where did you guys? Where's my bag? Uh, it's over here for our safety. Okay, I'm gonna use my lightsaber. You shouldn't touch my stuff, man. Hey, you guys. But then he rat. Nah, I'ma do my own thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's like he's constantly dealing that with shit annoying is crazy, outside influences bro. on stream. Like most recently, when he apparently got robbed on TikTok Live. You won. He got robbed. You won. You won. As you guys know, last night I got robbed. What? I'm gonna try to do this in one take because I'm really angry. Right hey, hold on. Hey, hold on. No homo shit though. This nigga muscular as shit though, bro. Like, I thought this nigga was just skinny and frail, bro. But like, that nigga got some. Hey, bro. He's kind of toned, bro. Right now. It seems like the <clears throat> same type of niggas that are supposed to support you, bro, don't fucking support you, bro. Mm. It be your own fucking people, bro. Mm. Your own fucking people. With you, bro. I mean, yeah, like I said, him going out in public where people can clearly see yeah, still, yeah, it's still not a good idea. Yeah, 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 I get it. Pinpoint his location in a place as popular as New York is a total detriment to not only his mental health but also a huge safety. <laughs> I can read what he said. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> people out there will probably just say, "Oh, you know, he should just quit. He should just go get a normal job." And I just don't think those people really see how vicious of a cycle doing anything on the internet for a living can actually be for a person 
and how scary it can be to step away from this type of opportunity even though a lot of people probably think it's dumb what he's doing the man has obviously made a lot of money doing it yeah i'm really trying not to dislike certain types of people bro i'm really trying not to bro i'll get what he's saying literally, though. i cannot do this shit no more bro it is a risk i'm it trying to be the best streamer for you guys bro my dream is to be one of the best content creators do youtube do twitch do any all this shit right and i can't do that when you guys are with me every fucking time i go with yeah I, but i get i get why bro saying it on the uh, why jamari i think yeah jamari i think just i think i think that's why what why jamari said what he said earlier like it is it is still a risk when you're doing this shit out in public bro like it is kind of, yeah 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 I can't believe I still stutter like this, bro. Like, I literally took speech class and all, bro. And I passed, too. Like, So the curse of becoming more and more popular is there's obviously this increase in <laughs> people trying to f*** your shit up. Try and it's probably all, extra hard bro. for someone like this because I feel like he is likely on the precipice of gaining enough wealth from this venture to where he doesn't even think about other jobs or alternate routes his life could go. But maybe he's not quite making enough money where the ends always justify the means. Mm. Like I saw this interview with him where he was talking about how women NPC TikTokers apparently make a lot more money. They get a lot more donations. If you're a guy doing it, you make significantly less money. So if you hear like a lot of crazy numbers um, from... So there's like, lore behind this well, now? You know like, why. Um, But yeah, I'm a guy. So hold I'm on, who the it. fuck interviewed this nigga? I didn't even see this shit. Where the, where the fuck he get an interview? Niggas getting interviewed to being NPCs and shit? I didn't know this shit. What the fuck? I thought Pinky Dog was the only one getting interviews and shit. And she got a Fashion Nova deal. Do niggas still shop at Fashion Nova now I'm thinking about it? I don't know. I'm on the grill, baby. A little bit less, but you know, it's still decent. It's still enough to like, yeah. where I don't, I, I probably don't need to work a regular job. And it also seems like at least at that time, you know, he was hard pressed to crack four or five thousand dollars a month which obviously in new york city that's not going to go very far and of course there's rumors out there that he's making like twenty thousand dollars a stream you know those people are always full of shit i don't know what i'm doing to get all this hate i'm just trying to be the best streamer bro i fuck with y'all that help me man my boy will what's going on my boy Maybach music. Maybach music. i can take this shit I mean, yeah, you really have to feel for yeah. the guy. He's obviously wearing his heart on his sleeve here. And I have to think that this is very similar to the life of damn near any street performer. You know, like when you go to New Orleans or Las Vegas or any other is that? city. I just get the feeling that those Ugh. guys have always lived pretty hard lives. And there's obviously a lot of bad shit that can happen to you out there. Here That's he facts. apparently shared his villain origin story on TikTok and... Uh, Villain or what the fuck is going on, bro? I thought the nigga was just hopping into to the NPC just for the bread, bro. Like, when the, what the fuck are we talking about? Like, Lauren, evil backgrounds. Like, nigga, you just hopped on the shit. But hey, I guess he's just having fun with it, though. I'm, I, hey, Snow Bunny, though, dog. Miles, come on, man. Come on, bro. At least a Latina thing, bro. We ain't. Uh, I have to say, it gets pretty dark. You know, it always starts with a girl. I think it's related. Ah, uh, I feel you. I feel you, brother. She do look kind of right, though. I don't know. And a dark-haired goth girl at that. Damn. Why are you looking at me like that, bro? I didn't do shit to your girl, bro. No, wait. Nah, man. He's on that slim shady shit. <laughs> and then I saw people online saying that this apparently isn't even the first time Yo. that he crashed out. I don't know how many of shit you wasn't remember that funny, this clip bro, but like, why does nigga look at me in my eyes? Domino's delivery driver Freaky lost ass, his nigga. mind over not getting a tip. But people are now claiming that this is the same guy. No! Bro, just calm down. You only got to take one more delivery. I don't want to work here anymore! <laughs> Yo, if you work in if you work in food service, bro, 
you you understand. You understand. Five minutes. Five minutes out there in the rain. And no tip. No tip. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what the f I mean, all I gotta say is I nah, hope this guy bro, has enough chill, money saved bro, up where chill. he can maybe get the mental health he needs. Personally, when I was a little bit younger in my 20s, I used to be someone that had a very short fuse. I would have a hard time dealing with my emotions. And a lot of times I didn't know what else to do but explode, kind of like this guy is doing in this video. Are you trying but to give me life is, advice? Guys, eventually, you have to learn to deal with yourself. And you don't want to lose your mind well, every well, time well, things well, are going wrong in your life music. because it just puts you in a very vulnerable position. I don't know, I just see- Jamar, you trying to give me life advice right now, bro? You trying to be my therapist or something, bro? Like, what's up, man? What's up, man? You trying to risk me up through the camera or some shit, bro? Like, what's going on, bro? Give me real deal unk advice, man. Why well, I say rizzed up, bro? Nah, I, I just, you know. I gotta recheck my statement, bro. That was weird, bro. I ain't gonna lie. This See, I caught like myself in the brain rock, bro. I caught myself. wants these, like, new age internet jobs. But in a lot of ways, they're not always all they're cracked up to be. I don't think that being, quote-unquote, internet famous or having real fame is nearly as fun as it was in the past. It so comes with its pros and cons, though. Not, like, back then, it wasn't as crazy. Because, like, it's more so, like... Because back then, you only get to see the people that's in your community. Like, that's really in your niche. Now... Who, like it can be anybody like where, where, wherever they see you bro wherever they come from bro this nigga gonna call me pookie good old lonzo bro good old lonzo bro good old bro definitely be a double-edged sword and the other thing is once the movement kind of moves on i mean tiktok like might even get banned altogether kind of like what are you gonna do after that you kind of have to plan your safety net it's something i'll think about all the time because you know eventually i am gonna retire at least from doing this but luckily for me, it's been quite the fun ride. Yeah, I've had my uncertainties here and there, but I wouldn't change the way anything has gone for the world. Y'all let me know what you guys think about- Bro. <sighs> Thank God that shit dying, though, bro. Thank God that shit actually dead, honestly, bro, because it wasn't going to be that long anyway, bro. Pause.